<laughs> Whoa. Sorry. That's a red, man. It's a red. <laughs> You are listening to RockSlamRadio.com. From all studios to the world, we bring you the finest in quality entertainment. So grab a groupie, throw some horns, and settle in for another fine show from RockSlamRadio.com. everybody out there in radio land this is david j and the show is called david j rocks the j radio show here on rock slam radio which is part of tawad.com entertainment global media and hey all you people i guess everybody's interested in all that but anyway uh anybody want to call in and do some q a uh during the show i'm going to give out the studio number 727-597-4022 my special guest out of St. Petersburg and around St. Pete Beach. You know how that is. It is so much fun out there. The beach, that's one of the best beaches in the country and in the world, in fact. I don't know if it's the top ten in the country, but it's definitely one of the best ever. So we've got Hamlin in L.A. Blues. Hey, hey. Yeah. Hey, hey. All right, there's Hamlin. There's L.A. Hamlin, great blues guitars in L.A. Heart man. Harmonica, that is. And Yeah. Diggy, baby. All right. <laughs> We're so happy to have uh, Hamlin and L.A. on. Uh, they've been uh, doing a lot of uh, live gigs and that. Are you recording at all now? Or? No, I haven't had much time for that, man. We've been too busy jamming. To be gig- gig- you know it. And that's where the fun is. That live is so much fun. And recording, the repetition and all, you know, playing to the people is where it's happening at here. Oh, David J. Rock today show. And now, I want to go into a little bit of history here uh, about the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. It takes 25 years for a band that must be together that long to to even get nominated. And the nominees for the class of 2013 are being voted upon as we speak. And those nominees are Albert King, Chick, Deep Purple, Donna Summer, Hart, Joan Jett, and the Black Hearts, Craft Work, the Marvelettes, the Meters, NWA, Paul Butterfield Blues Band, Perko Harem, Public Enemy, Randy Newman, and Russ. Right now, Russ and... Deep Purple are in the lead. Uh, now, again, the top five of those will be the actual inductees. Uh, and, again, this is the first year that the fans are going to decide. There are There is a group of nuclear uh, professionals, artists, and so forth. However, the overall decided winners will be picked and voted upon by the fans. Voting is going on on RollingStone.com right now. Vote goes on until December 3rd, and when it will stop, and the votes will be counted to decide who will be the five inductees for the class of 2013 in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame for this year. Now, again, um, you know, there's a lot of criteria for the bands, uh, and, of course, Rush, uh, you know, they've been up and down uh, with their – eligibility since 1998. Uh, They've been wondering – a lot of fans wonder why they haven't been in – and and so uh, they, they have, Rush really feel that we are honored to be the nominees this year because it's for the fans that were really dedicated within, and they are the ones that are so thrilled about the induction. Uh, well, hopefully, uh, but uh, by at least the nominee uh, nomination of Rush, and that's since 1998. So. We're really happy for Rush and, and you know, the fans, and, and they're always kicking it back to their fans and that they could probably take it as it comes. But still, uh, you know, it's a great honor to be a, a nominee for uh, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Again, viewers, if you have any questions, that's 27-527-597-4022. Uh, also, in uh, our Rock News that's very current within a day or two we've got um, another sighting uh rock historian brett meisner uh, background again he's he first sighted uh jim morrison's uh image in 1997 uh outstretched apparently uh in the door of his uh, mausoleum uh, type of grave there 
uh, was ghostly image, uh, went unnoticed by Neiser. Uh, but then he, he picked it up in 2002. The photo was in no way manipulated and ruled out by any trick wow. photography. So, again, uh, it's unexplainable, uh, wow. the, the picture. Yeah. And you can go on a, a rock and roll um you know, you can go to a Rolling Stone uh, magazine, uh, check it out in the music section. Uh, when you click on the Morrison image, uh, it's called the um, Unsolved Mysteries the Ghost Hunters uh, were the first ones at the Pierre Lachaise uh, Cemetery um, to really pick up on that uh, image and uh, check it out, see what you think. I know I played it, and there was some movement there, but it was a little bit blurry, I have to admit. You know, it was a little blurry there. Uh, again, you know... Uh, my Meisner, uh, who's the uh, rock historian for Rolling Stone, reveals going to Pierre Lachaise Cemetery, that's the Paris Cemetery where Jim Morrison is laid to rest, uh, has been plagued by eerie events ever since uh, his marriage broke up and close friends died of drug overdose. So, you know, he, he's got a sense that uh, just bringing this whole issue up has been kind of uh, evil in some sense. Uh, it goes back to uh, the ghost of a Native American after witnessing a um, uh, car accident. Uh, Morrison was deeply impacted uh, in this. When you uh, tune in to uh, the, the, the uh, Rolling Stones, excuse me, the uh, Doors movie uh, by Oliver Stone, uh, you will see that uh, there was an accident where Indians were scattered down the highway bleeding, so it impacted on Morrison. And... Uh, you know, this kind of brought out uh, a spiritual side that has stayed has stayed with him through his music and through his uh, uh, work with the uh, the vibes that he presented on his great songs. Uh, but again, there's no way to disprove his ghost. But uh, the Lizard King's resting place still is going to have a huge number of uh, visitors in the next few months over there in Paris at La Chase, here at La Chase Cemetery. So. Uh, you know, I want to kick in a music song, one of his songs. I, we asked ourselves, did uh, Jim Morrison break on through to the other side? I know I've been doing a lot of Doors music for like four, four or five years now. I don't know where the vibe's coming from, but, uh, you know, other people are picking up on it too. So, uh, so in the closing, I'm going to kind of rip that one off. Right now, we got uh, Hamlin in L L.A. as our uh, guest artist here in uh, RockSlamRadio.com, the David J. Rocks the J. Show. So, again, <laughs> I can hear them uh, really getting into the vibe here as we're going over some of our history uh, and some of the ideas that are being shared in Rolling Stone magazine. So, uh, without further ado, I think I'm going to let uh, Hamlin in L.A. do their thing in that. And now you can uh, do uh, one song, two songs, however, a 20-minute set, however you like to do that, and we'll kick it around, okay? All right. All right. Go All right, ahead. David, tell, David. Yeah, tell us our title and you know, take it away, Hamlin and L.A. Well, I think we're going to do some original stuff here since uh, we don't get a chance to do that very often. And uh, there's no recordings of our original material anywhere. So get your recorders out, <clears throat> folks, and this could be it. <laughs> All right, just go pick a song here. All right, we were talking about Morrison, right? Yeah, yeah right. right. Oh, Jimbo. we got to find something that's a little Morrison appropriate here. In the minor. You know, they're very much in minor. Yeah, yeah. Chords, yeah. so E minor, A minor. Yeah. You know. I got one, man. This one here is called, uh, this one's called uh, Hotter Than the Sun. E yeah. Quick forgiver 
Your love is harder than the sun Think my love is growing stronger I need some time to look around Girl, I can't be tied to you no longer And I don't mean to put you down Babe, my life is like a river That's always on the run You know that you're such a queen I played LA. always on the road. You know that you're such a quick forgiver Your love is harder than the sun Your love is harder than the sun Your love is harder than the sun, harder than the sun. Love is hotter than the sun, you know, that's really hot. You know what I mean? And that is definitely like a light my fire type of song and that I know that I type really of, dig yeah. that. Thank you, thank you for sharing that. Uh, oh, Emlyn yeah. in L.A. out of St. Petersburg. Awesome. Hey, man, uh, how would you tune into a song like Your Love is Harder Than the Sun? And that one? Woo, is that boy. a personal experience? Yes, that, yes. What can you share with that? A little background information on oh, the lyrics man. there. Um, you got any? It was just, you know, back in the day. I wrote that song so long ago. I can't hardly yeah. remember. <laughs> you know, I mean, Most of these songs I've written were like high school, man, which is almost 40 years ago. Was was that like a heartbreak? Was that kind of like a, a love thing? Kind of, yeah. It was kind of a thing. I was in a relationship with a girl where she had a crush on me. Oh, wow. And it was more on her, one side and on her side than me. You know, yeah. I was like, I didn't want to break her heart. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to, you know, have, overcommit to her. So I just kind of, you know, it changes every day, you know, it's like yeah. the river, kind of things are changing. Mm -hmm. um, I don't mean to put you down, you know, it's not your fault, kind of thing. He, he was like the that. stud back then. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You should man. see They're pictures of Skinny it. and handsome, hell yeah. Well, I like that, the way to break that up, because I know it can get very emotional uh, in that kind of relationship, man. You know, yeah. try to break that up and, and you know, give a, yeah. a little twist to it, you know, makes you kind of feel a little better, you know, when you're, in, uh, you know, kind of a... Yeah, connection didn't, there. Didn't want, to, didn't want to be the one to break her heart. You know, you know what I mean? You uh, want to be the first one anyway. I mean, anybody that's gone through heartbreak, and you know, I know, you know, if you live life, you do, and that people do, men and women, all, and uh, you know, it's very meaningful uh, how you treat folks out there, and and, and making a, uh, you know, kind of a relationship, Absolutely. you know, in, in a way that's really positive, even even uh, if, if things are moving on in in different ways. Is and it's is always important. best to be honest, you know. It's best to be honest. Damn, I've been trying to do that. I'm, I, I am. So, I try to be that way. It, it is, now that is really difficult, man. Hey, sometimes. listen to Charlie Sheen, bro. Charlie you know what Sheen mean? will tune you into it. He's he's totally. Charlie Sheen is totally upfront about every indiscretion he has. That's true. <laughs> it's the way I am. I'm gonna I'm gonna whore around. It's the way I am. So you know, just just deal with it. And that's the way Charlie Sheen is, and and he's honest about it. So if you deal with it, you accept it. Uh, 
you're buying into his program so <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was always dug Charlie's team yeah. in that. You know, I'm not. You know, when anytime you make the millions of dollars, that well, you got to respect you know, that, right? <laughs> uh, well, again, you know, I, I, he probably thought he had so much power, but you know, I'm going to tell you, there would come a point in time when he's talking to some of those big boys out there, you know, that were really uh, putting him on, and, and even though he had the charisma and the whole power to keep it going, you know, uh, it was just crazy, you know, with the money out there, oh, the yeah. money that he was making and it compared to what other people, you know, you know, were near that all their lives. And that. Oh, yeah. so uh, I don't know. That's because he thought he was irreplaceable. Irreplaceable. Exactly. And, and he that, found out he wasn't. Well, that's the way the world goes today, man. I tell you, it's like, you know, when you're that ego, when that, uh, you know, edge, that big, yeah. edge, edging God out, man, when you edge God out. That's right. Yeah. Uh, and, and, and he, uh, I mean, he was so blessed and he still is so blessed. I mean, oh, yeah. Martin Sheen's his, his dad is a great actor too, oh, you know. I know, man. Awesome. Uh, Whatever happened to his brother? I don't know, man. I never hear anything about him anymore. He's probably surfing Emilio, out there. In Emilio. <laughs> Malibu Escobar. Beach somewhere, man. Yeah. You know, digging the bags on the yeah. beach and walking the dog or something. Yeah, he said, hey, I'm Charlie Sheen's brother. <laughs> <laughs> Come over here. Hey, man, you like my Hobie soap bar? Like, I'll, show you yeah. pictures. I'll show you naked pictures of Charlie when we were oh, little. Oh, no. <laughs> you know? Well, I don't know about that, but anyway. Hey, a little bit of the news here. News. I, yeah, blue, news, blue. blues news. Hey, Led Zeppelin is going to have a tribute concert Ooh, to yeah. Amit Erdogan. Tribute concert on November 26th in London at awesome. the O2 Arena in London. An O2 Arena, okay, November 26th. So again, you know, that's been debated the last two or three months whether they Are ever you going, get back. Uh, hey, I'll tell you what, <laughs> I need a press pass, man. I need that press pass and I'm taking over there. I'll go over there. Maybe Heck the yeah, man, song. I go over there. And then I go backstage and I really get, get into the band, that's for sure. Now, again, that's got, uh, you know, Jimmy Page, yeah, Robert Plant. John Paul Jones baby, and Jason Bond. Baby, I'm gonna <laughs> hey. hey, man, go on with that. Okay. Anyway, Jason Bonham, John Bonham's son, is going to be the only one hey. that's not the original. Uh, and again, you know, there's a family connection there. And Jason's going to play, right? Oh, yeah, Jason, Jason yeah. Bonham. Yeah, right, Jimmy baby. Page, Robert Plant, John man. Paul Jones, and Jason Bonham will be the band. The chemistry um, is there. Red Zeppelin. Again, this is a uh, benefit concert to aid the Amit Ernigan Educational Fund. Again, this educational fund gives art scholarships for innovative artists. So this is a benefit performance, a one-of-a-kind, November 26th in London O2 Arena. Uh, again, Amit Ernigan, he's he passed on, but... He founded Atlantic Records in 1947. Oh, wow. yeah. 47, okay, and he, he was a major mentor. Atlantic, a major yeah. mentor. Yeah. You can register now. Again, uh, fans can register. You got you got to be spent. I mean, this is a ballot only uh, ticket availability uh, method. Uh, so again, you've got to register your name with www.ametribute.com. And the names will be chosen at random just to get a ticket. So, again, you don't go the standard way to get a ticket to this concert. Uh, Ahmet, wow. A-H-M-E-T-T, -T, Tribute. Again, yeah, t second T is part of the Tribute, T-R-I-B-U-T-E.com. That's A-M-A-H-M-E-T-T-R-I-B-U-T-E.com. Ahmet, Tribute.com to get your chance to get uh, a ticket. Uh, to, that's even just to register, uh, so that you're, it's going to be a name drawing uh, that, that will give you your ticket there to the uh, Led Zeppelin concert, November 26th in London, a tribute concert to Ahmet Ernigan. Thank so, you. So, yes, also Keith Richards and some of the, there's uh, several other famous uh, musicians will be there just uh, as uh, a kind of a you know, walk on type of thing. If you can call it, uh, Keith Richards a walk on, but. Uh, uh, Led Zeppelin will be the the main uh, attraction, the headliners for the show. You know, so again, I'm so glad that you know there was uh, questions about a tour, uh, there was questions about a limited number of concerts, and now we know at least one is going to happen. So you know, after that, hopefully we'll get a snowball effect, and maybe they'll want to do yeah. some more. Come to America, brother. Right? Maybe they'll want to tour America. All right, we got, Dave you know, yeah, well, again, I like to go backstage with the Brett pass, uh, press pass to be yeah. fine. Okay, we got an L.A. LA on the harp over here, and uh, L.A., yeah. what got you playing harp, man? A harmonica is so different than, you know, than well, a guitar. I, you know, everybody wants a guitar now, you know. I started when I was in high school, uh, I was playing trumpet. I played trumpet for, I don't know, four or five years. 
And uh, it, I really couldn't play in a lot of different, sitting with the bands and things like that. And I couldn't carry it around with me as much. So I started playing the harmonica. And I just kind of taught myself and uh, just picked it up because it was something easy to carry around like mm -hmm. most people think. Yeah. And I played, uh, you know, like one key for quite a few years before I found out there was a lot more keys. Yeah. <laughs> and then 20 years later, I ended up taking lessons from a guy wow. that actually made the harmonicas that I, that I play, some of the harmonicas Where's I play. Where's your belt at, bro? Right here on. Hold it up so the camera can see it. Well, you know, harmonicas are in hand. different keys. Some are in the key of C, G, and E. Uh, and I, I know some of the harp guys yeah. carry big cases with all kinds of harps in them. Check and, out you his know. belt. He's I got, got a suitcase over there. Yeah, he's got a suitcase, man. That's how many harps he carries. Look at, oh, wow. Hold that up to the camera. That's amazing there. Can you see that? Everybody see that? That's, that's his there belt with all his harps on it. That's the basic artillery. Man, I tell you, it looks like he's loaded, man. <laughs> L.A., man. It's custom yeah. made belt and everything. Dynamite. So, are we ready for another song here by Hammond and L.A.? Let's yeah. do a Zeppelin song? What the heck? Let's yeah. do part oh, of it. Oh, wow, man. That hey. would be dynamite. Hey, 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 hey. You can get the song, Dave. You gotta guess now. Yeah, that's a stairway to heaven. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's that's uh come on man. No. I know what it was. I, I just can't know I, I can't say the title of it. Here you go. See, baby. <laughs> baby, baby, I'm gonna leave you. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, I ain't joking, woman. <laughs> I got to round up, yeah. Yeah, really, got to round up. I can hear him calling me the way he used to do. Yeah. I can hear him calling me back home.
That's when it's coming That's when it's calling me back home. Yeah, man. That's some great. All right, LA. Yeah. Some great Zeppelin there, you Good know. Good job, Emma. Yeah, you know, Led Zeppelin had a mysterious countdown on Facebook. You know, we're posting the word number five. Uh, thinking about possible tour, yet Plant was not interested. The last reunion, uh, London's O2, again, was December 10th, 2007. So, you know, we've got one performance coming up on November 26th with Led Zeppelin as a tribute concert to Amit Ernigan Educational Fund, benefit concert. Uh, and uh, hopefully some things can get started with Liz. Um, they were close to a tour, but Robert Plant chose not to. Most people thought they'd never get back together. So, again, that's how much power this Ahmet Erdogan, the co-founder of Atlantic Records, had on the great band Led Zeppelin. Uh, that he was like a father figure to them. So, you know, they, they chose to overcome any differences or any, any reasons for not playing to at least do a benefit concert in it. Uh, awesome. They were close to a tour uh, without Plant. They were looking for another uh, front man, another uh, lead vocalist, but it wasn't likely. Wow. Uh, and so that time, that tour. Who uh, would it be, man? Uh, I couldn't tell you on that, that. You know how they audition a lot of folks. Who would it be if they could handle that spot? But, you know, they, they channeled that, uh, you know, after 2007, that, that when they were talking about coming back, they totally. Um, officially turned the tour off in January 2009. And so, uh, you know, this is a great event coming up. Uh, that's why it's so difficult to get in. And you need to register at www.ahmettribute.com. i tell you who it wouldn't be. Adam Lambert. Oh, that's where I said it was going to be. <laughs> I said it probably would be him. Think? I don't know, man. Yeah, I, I, do I don't know anything. Queen, I don't know. I don't know. I'm, like, I'm plant, judging baby. about that. But, you know, there's some That's folks that come out of the woods, man, like yeah. Filipinos and people all oh, around like the world. Oh, like the dude that did the journey somewhere. thing, man. What about you know? him? You know, um, wow. it's amazing how mystical music is. And, and yep. stranger things do happen. You know, people you would think would be up there for the running to, to take his place. Uh, and there's no way you can take a Robert, a Robert Plant's place away from Led Zeppelin, you know. Mm. That's why, you know, yeah. the band was so closely knit when John Bonham died, you know. Oh, they I just know, stopped, man. you know. They, they, and yeah. that drumming, that his his percussion was so tremendous. If you listen to their songs and that, and, and all the different variations that he had, uh, you know, couldn't be matched. And so, uh, you know, that that depth, that they must have had a major depression there with his oh, loss. Yeah. They, they couldn't go on. Uh, and, and with all that great talent. Even in place, they chose to, to disband. So we're just, you know, so proud that Led Zeppelin is going to do a performance on November 26th. Absolutely. Good know? thing about it is they're going to videotape it, and we're going to get to see it no matter what. There's no telling what they're going to do to that, man. I mean, they'll, put it, they'll probably micro, micro DVD it to oh, where, yeah, you know, every, every move is down. You know, Jimmy oh, yeah. Page and you know, on the guitar and John Paul Jones. And I'm that, sure the you cameras know, are going to be Robert wailing Plant, on that one. Yeah, Jason baby. Bonham and that, you know, Jason Bonham. I, I, his dad showed pictures of him in the uh, Led Zeppelin tour um, um, uh, film uh, that was a documentary of, of, of Led Zeppelin. I, it's when John... Um, the song he made his name, right? I show, they show, yeah. yeah, there you go. There you yeah. go. Uh, they, they, they showed a picture of, of him when uh, Jason Bond was just a... I'm not even four or five years old on, on, a, drum set, on a drum kit. Uh, so, again, you know, that, that blood was in the family. And uh, now we've got him uh, taking his father's place. And that's that such a beautiful thing you know, to see the, the kids in there and digging the same thing that father digs and, and want to play with the band in that. This is a beautiful it's thing. It's amazing. Thank you, know, you. I've got, I've got six children, and only, only one even comes close to even being a musician. Actually, two of them. My two girls. i got three girls, three boys. One of the girls is a singer, and the other girl – is into the guitar, but not enough. You know, she's like half half dedicated to the guitar. She won't practice enough, but uh, 
it would be awesome. She's only 20 years old, and she would be awesome. I said, you could be like Taylor Swift, baby. <laughs> that's because <laughs> <Just> boys, practice. <laughs> that's because boys are involved now. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> well, you know, you're, we're Romance. touching on like a ghost, like Jim Morrison's ghost, and we're yeah. touching on oh, yeah. uh, you know, passing of a great drummer, uh, John Bonham. Yep. So uh, I want to kind of... You got a ghost song, man? Uh, well, again, it, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm thinking that it's more of a, a song of, uh, how should I say, rejoicing, because uh, you're thinking about an individual breaking on through to the other side and that, you know? Well, you know the day destroys the night. Not to fight the time Try to run Try to hide Break on through To the other side Break on through now Break on through now Break on through Well, we chased our pleasures here, dug our treasures there. But you still recall the time we cried. Everybody loves my baby. She gets high. She gets high. She gets high. She gets higher. Higher. I found an island in your arms, a country in your eyes, arms that chain, eyes that lie, break on through to the other side, break on through now. One more time, baby. One more time for Jim Bring on through to the other side. Where we chased our pleasures here. Dug our treasures down. But you still recall the time we cried. Everybody loves my baby. She gets high. She gets high. Higher, higher, higher. Break on through now. Hey, hey Dave. Yeah. Dave. All right, Dave. Rock it, bro. Rock it. Well, you know, uh, picking up those vibes, you know, that's a song. I was saying, well, maybe uh, Jimbo, Jim broke on through, you know, his picture. At the front of his tomb, and that, but I noticed I took a, a real close up of it. Um, I tuned into uh, what was taken. They claim it was no uh, tampering, no trickery of light. Uh, still, the image uh, is uh, the far, you know, it is a little bit, uh, you know, it's not as clear as I'd like it, but the idea that that presence, that image is even available at all is amazing. All right, we got, is, yeah, we got Hamlin in LA here out of St. Pete. Now, got any dates for you guys, you know? Yes, we do. What kind of promo? Go get some promo here. Well, currently we're playing. Playing at a place on Pastor Grill Beach called The Wharf. All right, Bill, there's your big plug, brother. The Wharf is on uh, Pastor Grill. It's right at the light. As you enter Pastor Grill Beach, there's a light, and there's the little bridge that goes to Vina Del Mar. Then there's the restaurant on the corner. Then there's then there's the Wharf, and there's the big blue marina building. It's right next to the marina building, right there. And uh, we have a good time on the front porch. We play on the front porch, man. It's like poor mon porch monkey music. Yeah, we had a great time last night. Last night yeah, we did we a did. Halloween party there. It was a phenomenal yeah, Halloween party. And uh, uh, Hamlin and I went as the uh, the Blues Brothers. We were the Blues cool, Brothers, man. man. They had tuxedo yeah, tuxedo t-shirts and the whole nine yards. You know it. It the was blues awesome. Was so cool, man. Acrobatics and that, Howley Jam. Belushi, unreal, man. Unreal. You know, acrobatics, so powerful. Such a genius there in comedy. Oh, man. yeah. You know. Oh, yeah. Yes, we did. Uh, so, of course. I was Jake. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And what a venue that is, you know, right there on the golf and that, you know, man. beautiful, man. It can't get any better than From that. From our you point know? of view, we're looking at the water and it's just, you know, it's so beautiful. It's a beautiful place. 
Excellent food, too. Awesome food. Nice people. Great people, man. Great place. Come out and check us out. You got to come out there, man. Yeah, what, what was the name of that place again? The Wharf. Whoa, yeah. All right. The and do Wharf. the boats come up there and dock? Yeah, and you can become my boat. Wow, man. Yeah, you can't get any better than that. You know, you the people out there on the boats go out there and you know, you know, hear the music and all? Yeah, we're the, we're gonna, we're the house band there now. The Wharf. Yeah. The Wharf. St. Pete Beach, right? So you can find us there almost every weekend. Wow. All the way through December. That's excellent, man. And, you know, that, that's amazing today. You know, most people don't, don't get those steady gigs. You you know, I was talking to a couple of old-timers and that, you know, yeah. and they say three or four times uh, in the same place is very unusual. You usually got to do one Sunday, you know, one time here, one time there, mix it all up, and you're, you're always traveling around and that, you know. Well, we auditioned. Isn't that something? We auditioned. We did a live audition just like this. Two cool. guitar, yeah. harmonica, and we walked up and we started playing. They hired us on the spot. Dynamite. Mother, Mother Ocean, I have heard you call. I wanted to sail upon your water since I was three feet tall. You sing it all. You sing it all. Watch the man who rode you switch some sails to steam, boy. You hold more treasure than I've ever seen Most of them dreams Someone else's sunken dreams Yes, I am a pirate Two hundred years too late Now the cannons don't thunder There's nothing to plunder I'm an over forty victim of fate Arriving too late Arriving too late Well Dave I've done a bit of smuggling And I run my share of grass And I made enough money To buy my enemy But I pissed it away so fast It was never meant to last Never meant to last So you know I have been drunk now for over two weeks Passed out and I rallied and I sprung a few leaks But I gotta stop wishing, I gotta go fishing I'm down at rock bottom again Just a few friends My very best friend I play it nice now, L.A. Still make them all smile. It just takes a while. It just takes a little while. Mother, mother ocean. After all these years, I found my occupational hazard is my occupation. Just ain't around. I feel like I drown. Feel like I drown. Gonna head uptown. Head uptown. Guitar, and now let me tell you, it, I this think is, that song sealed the deal. You know, it's all it's all uh, live and uncut, people. This this is really the this is really takes what it what it is in music, man. We got nothing, uh, no uh, overdub, and we got nothing here. Man. It's all what it is, and that, and it's a, you know, beautiful thing, beautiful thing as it comes out here, people. And again, if anybody has any questions out there, our number is seven two seven. Five nine seven four zero two two. Okay, audience, how wake up out there? Wake up! You know we got some great players here and a dynamic show. 
Uh, we got a lot of interesting ideas from the Rolling Stone magazine and antimusic.com. Uh, the next one, I have to admit, I mean, this is kind of ups and downs, you know, people here, people there. But I mean, this goes to the uh, interview with Chuck Berry. And Chuck Berry, that, go, that, was, in, uh, that was actually, yes, uh, well, again, October 27th. Uh, he visited Cle uh, Cleveland to accept the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame American Music Masters Award. That's Chuck Berry. All right. Chuck Berry is 86 years old, man. Uh, he, he, you know, as, you know, as far as interviewing goes and that, you know, right now, uh, you know, he's he's had some difficulty he mentions he, he's not hearing as well as, he, you know, because he had to play in front of all those drummers for so many years, man, they must have yeah, blown his ear out. But, uh, you know, and then his voice is gone and that, but he's 86 years old and, and he's uh, he does tour. He's got an exhibit. exhibit uh, that uh, you know celebrates his life up there in Cleveland, so that's pretty much what he was looking at. And and he does play some co club dates where people come just to see him and that and talk with him and that. But uh, you know, that's Chuck Berry, a great legend there. Uh, yeah, and awesome. you know, go to uh, Rolling Stone magazine to pick that up, a uh, latest edition. And that, he had that interview yesterday, well, the October 27th, in that. So you know, yeah, here it is. All right, Mabel Lee, can we do this? Hamlet in L.A., baby. Hey, hey. Yeah, for Chuck. Can you turn mine up a little bit? This. Chuck, Chuck. Chucky, Chucky. Chucky. Monica like a ringing bell. I said, Go, go, LA, go, 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 yeah, LA, be good. Go, boy. Tonight, all right. Rockin' with L.A. and Hamlin, Hamlin and L.A. <laughs> on uh, David J. Rock's The J Show here on Rock Slam Radio, man. We're rocking tonight, man. I'll tell you yeah, what, right. this is a wild show, right, Hamlin? That's it. It's a wild show. It's whatever you want, brother. The wild things, man. You like know to, what? I could like to bring up a, a little point here about music. <clears throat> How I, I, We have noticed, he and I have noticed. Yeah, pass it over here. <laughs> Thank you. That's the first time. You didn't spill it on your cross, did you, Dave? No, man. I, 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 I got my old pants on. I got my old jeans on, man. These are the old grease pants. They ain't no working on the car now. <laughs> yeah. L.A. and I have noticed a little trend in music these days. We're not around this part anyway. But I think, it's a, I think it's a national movement or worldwide movement, even that country, country rock is coming on strong. 
Yeah. Have you noticed it, Dad? Have you heard anything about it? Have you noticed these new artists, Jason Aldean oh, yeah. and um, Luke Bryan, people like that coming up? They got the sounds, man. They got the rock backbone, but the country twang and the vocals, you know? Mm. But the whole thing is still rock. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Well, the thing is, you know, you got to be careful, you know, especially when the uh, the purists there. And I know I I started out there. It was a uh, Grand Ole Opry up there in Lacanto. Was a, um, all folks they've been playing for like twenty years, and they were doing all like Gene Autry and Roy Rogers stuff. Man, I mean, they were purists in country, and they didn't want yeah. any for yeah. they didn't want any quick time, man. They didn't want any rockabilly in there at all, man. And they yeah. really so again, you know, there are certain groups of purists in in country that you know the ones yeah. with the western hats on, you know, uh, they don't want no changes to it but then again you've got another variety of folks that's trying to expand it and, and to meet other uh ideas in the music Do area not limit yourself exactly you know don't so. limit yourself to any one gender why mm -hmm. why do it yeah it's a traditional thing with the folks you know a lot of them come from the mountains up there you know in tennessee oh, and, sure and so you know it goes back to a lot of family traditions and that and, well, you, and, know, you know everybody can respect that it's not yeah. it's not just because you're from the south that you respect family values Right. Everybody respects that. You know, you know? man. What? Decent people, period. <laughs> well, like Lanard Skinner, you know, yeah, Lanard, yeah. you know, they can get that country, that rock in there. So yeah, that's man. so powerful. They can cross all kinds of lines. They did. That, so. They crossed every line. They played that their music on every station. And there's a huge amount of family tradition in that band, that's for sure, with all the accents in that here. Oh, oh yeah. I, do, do I hear I know? He the struck a note, man. Oh, man. Oh, a oh. See there? Mama told me when I was young, she said, sit beside me, my only son. And if you do this, do what I say, it's going to help you some sunny day. find a woman you find love but remember there is someone up above and if you do this my own say you feel that some sunny <laughs> the duck worry about the rich man's gold. All that you need, my son, is right here in your soul. Yeah. Yeah. And if you do this, do what I say. <laughs> well, all I want for you, my little son, is to be satisfied. Yeah, I'm be a simple kind of man One you can love, love and understand
point. Yeah. Dead, man. <laughs> man, that is deep now. That is that deep. Those are, they're awesome. What an awesome yeah. song. Awesome Dead, song. And, uh, you know, with that, that family tradition. Did you know Aerosmith is planning a special street show? What could be more family than a street show? There you go, You know, baby. it's like uh, YouTube. Um, you know, they, they did that on top of the L.A., down in L.A., and now all of a sudden impromptu up on a, a rooftop. And all these people started running down there. It was like a big riot scene down there. You know, cops. Yeah. You think they're trying to be like the Beatles? Oh, yeah, man. <laughs> this, this is the latest thing, man. These street, unplanned street shows. And then oh. all of a sudden, big bands come in. Taylor Swift, yeah. You know, yeah. and, and it happened. Now, there's going to be some notice here. And this is what, it, what, what it's all about. Aerosmith playing a special street show. Impromptu concert in an undisclosed location in the streets of Boston. On the uh -huh. eve of the release of their new album. The new album for Aerosmith is entitled uh, Music from Another Dimension. Uh, it goes on uh, November 6th, the day before oh, man. Uh, they take to the streets of Boston to play a special show for fans. So, again, uh, you know, you, right there, you've got that immediate release. November 5th, they will disclose where the location is going to be. Oh, it's got to be atop the radio crew building, man. You know, <laughs> radio knows, mojo. Yeah. No one knows yet. November sixth, though, that's mojo. when the, the um, street impromptu street street show for Aerosmith is going on, and that's going to be highlighting their new album out there. Awesome. The new album, you know, Aerosmith. Uh, they also will kick off the second leg of their global warming tour on November eighth, a month long fourteen city area tour. Supporting uh, acts will be Cheap Trick. Uh, they'll be playing New York, Madison Square Gardens, L.A. Staples Center, uh, Las Vegas MGM Grand Garden Arena, among other cities as well. So, you know, they got some major venues. That's Aerosmith, you know, and uh, you can't beat that. That's clearly rock and roll, right, guys? And uh, here we got another song from Hamlin in L.A. I'm going to be doing some rockin', yeah. I think they'll be doing an unplugged version of this song. Yo, everything's unplugged on here, man. We're raw and rye corn. Going into town in a police car. Cause your dad said it didn't touch a little too far. When you talk about things, you can sure understand. Cause a month on the road got me eat from your hand. Aerosmith, Hamlin in L.A., man. Great guitar, great heart. Man, both of you compliment each other, man. Make a really unique sound here, guys. I'm so glad you guys are on the show. It's a great pleasure to have you on hey, the show. It's great to be here, brother. You know it, man. It was awesome to always come down here and see you, Dave. You know it, down there on the... Uh... What's that? What's that down that, 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 the, the wharf? I, I thought it was the wharf. I didn't want to say wharf. the wedge. I was going, I don't wedge the wharf. What, you know, bring what's your that kayak, there? bring your jet ski, bring your boat. Bring your pontoon. Sunset girl, too. Oh, yeah. It sounds good. Rack your hitch up into the water. Untie all them cables and ropes. Step onto the Astro Tour. Get yourself a koozie. Let's go. Well, now, who said anything about skiing? Boating is all I want to do You can keep me 
ladder, but don't rock the boat while I barbecue. <laughs> Don't drink it if the mountains are blue. Yeah, you can come. <laughs> <Even too. laughs> oh, we're on a pontoon, making waves and catching rays upon the roof. Cutting off the back. They're paneling with the water slide Can't beat the heat, let's take a ride The boating on the pontoon. That's a freaking there. country song, bro. On the wasp. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> digging it. But, you know, but can you feel the blues in it? Can you, you know, feel man. It? It, a great mix. It's just you a know? great song. Hey, I saw a good song is a good song. It doesn't matter where it comes from. Yeah. Yeah. So, hey, did you know mind. the good open song? Mind. Did you know the ones with, you know, I was thinking, you know, I, you got, you got these bands, man. They got so many top 10 songs on the Billboard 100. You know, it's like when they do a concert, it's all like, Number yeah. ones, number. I mean, you got it. Yep. You know, you say, "What is this?" You know. Yep. But hey, the Rolling Stones. The did Rolling you know Stones. the Rolling Stones played a surprise club show in north of Paris on Thursday? Oh, oh man! Thursday, oh. north Why of Paris. Why wasn't I there? I uh, know. Six hundred oh, lucky man. fans packed, and that's La wow. Irabendo Rock Club. That's La. Either a Bendo Rock Club to see Mick Jagger, Man. Keith Richards, Charlie Watt, and Ronnie Wood launch a quick-fire barrage of hits. Wow. Started on their Marquee wow. roots. So, again, they started wow. with some, opened up with Route 66, uh, and then uh, Keith Richards cranked out some really wheezy licks wheezy. on its only rock and roll. <laughs> yeah. Did I make a statement there for L.A. and Hamlin? It's only Rolling Stones, baby. Surprise show. rock and roll, but I like it. But I like it. But I like it. <laughs> only I know. It's only rock and roll, but I like it. But I like it, like it, like it. But I like it. Only rock and roll, but I like it, like it. Only rock and roll, but only I like rock and roll. It. Only rock and roll, but I like it. Play that leg, come on. Yeah, <laughs> let me tell you, man. You, you, know, you guys got a great Is repertoire. He trying to tell us something? You know what? Hey, you need to pass that drink around again. I'm sorry, what was in that, man? That was some good stuff here. <laughs> but you know, it's only rock and roll, and then uh, you know, the country rock and roll. We talk on the different genres and that, and drink, what hey, goes around. You know, music, you know, you know what I mean in that. So you know, so uh, take a wig. There you go. Oh yeah, yes. man, that's that's some Kool Aid there. I mean to tell you, shroom juice and Kool Aid. You bet, bet. 
And, uh, you know, it's the 50th anniversary of the Rolling Stones and that. They've been around a while. You know what I mean? 50 years, brother. It's it's unreal. You know, how does that make you feel? It makes me feel also uh, 50 years young, man. (laughs) I'm I'm happy to be here. You know, I'm happy uh, with all the things going on. I really feel it's a blessing, you know, uh, meeting musicians of your quality uh, and around here and and Tampa Bay, um, amazing independent artists all over. uh, and, And just so. Coming Thank through you. here at Rock Slam Radio, man. We're taking over here. We're taking right, over right, Tampa right, Bay, Rock baby. Over. Yeah, you get on. You get on the show, man. <laughs> and uh, you want, yeah, I'll tell you, but, uh, it's all raw and uncut. Uh, you know, we're, we're dangerous here. Uh, raw, you know. <laughs> <laughs> we're dangerous. You know, uh, you know what goes out there is uh, is is what it is. And uh, you know, we're really blessed to have the talent there that presents what we have here. Yeah, I got my you harmonica know. belt, the arsenal of my weapons there. You bet, man. It looks like it looks like it's a big big gun on that one that's for sure that's man. right all the different keys and in, in the harps and all you know so the point was just you know don't limit yourself in life or anything or in music yeah. why why do it why cut yourself out to one gender no, i mean, i see it all the time even around town they got all the blues artists oh you got to play the blues if you don't play the blues you can't play here yeah you know and yep. if you don't play country you, you know it, man why dude you listen to the radio, you hear it all, man. It's all on there, you know. You it's know the that, world. Bring you know. it to the world. And when we play, everybody relates to what we play. Doesn't Absolutely. matter who it is. Doesn't matter if they're young or old or you know. It's make a any good difference. song with a good vibe is a good song. Period. Right. I don't care who wrote it, what you call it. It's a good song. Yeah. All right. I made a point. You know what, man? The sounds, the sounds are really intense in that. So, you know we. <laughs> We're looking on uh, for some collaboration here, uh, with Neil Young and Dave Grohl. You know, uh, Neil oh, Young. Yeah. You know, Neil Young. Uh, he's on tour uh, right now with Crazy Horse and, and Dave Grohl. You know, of course, with the uh, yeah, Neil Young song, Foo Fighters, and also he goes back to drumming for uh, Nirvana. Man, Dave Grohl has really come on. Neil Young, baby. You know it, old man. Much more. Live alone in a paradise that makes me think of two. The lost such cause. Give me dreams that won't get lost. Like a coin that won't get tossed. Rolling home to you. All right, everybody sing that. That means that Neil Young is going to collaborate with Neil, uh, Dave Grohl. Uh, but also, Neil Young likes Jack White. Now, Jack White had some uh, ups and downs with the uh, Radio City Music Hall concert. Uh, you know, he was on there for uh, about 50 minutes and uh, 12 songs that were supposed to be, uh, I think it was a couple hours there. And uh, <laughs> so he, he's got this method, man. Instead of, you know, being a uh, pumping, uh, he likes to heckle the audience, man, you know, uh, oh, no. to get the enthusiasm at them. It's just okay. a reverse process, you know. There you go. Points out some individuals that you may or may not like. Like this one guy was in the front of the, you know, up to the stage and had his shirt off. And I guess he was commenting that he was dressed inappropriately. He kept heckling. He got him kicked out, man, by security. <laughs> and then eventually Jack White walked off and that. He had a 10 man uh, band behind him and that. And uh, he was saying, well, hey, look, folks, uh, if you're not that excited about what I'm doing, I think I'll just go straight acoustic. And he says, well, only 10% of the people were like that then. So again, he got a lot of the fans, uh, they were cursing wow. and yelling. He walked off and that. They had, Went into a riot scene, started yeah, pounding on, you know, a yeah, hundred of them started pounding on cars outside their uh, Radio City Music Hall. So, oh, you know, uh, things think- like that happen. But Neil Young digs it. Neil Young yeah. uh, likes Jack White. So, you know, we're going to get a mix. You know how Neil Young is. He's really off the chart. Now, yeah, Dave yeah. Gruel, too, man, with the Foo Fighters. I mean, really, that guy, he just rips that guitar, man, you know, yeah, up there does. front, man. And yep. great singer and that. I like, Talented, you know, going from a drum set to, uh, you know, uh, with, of course, iconic band Nirvana, you know, uh, 
I don't know. I don't, I don't have much to say about that, but these guys are just uh, phenomenal. Well, it's the thing you get. You interact with your audience, and we do that all the time. You know, play live. Oh, yeah, definitely. You know, you, you find people. Pe people don't realize it. Just because you're up there playing, that you're not a machine. Yeah. You know, you're going to look at them, and you're going to think things about what you're seeing, too. Yeah. You, know? you know? Not only what they're seeing on stage, but you're going to think about them, too. Mm -hmm. And you're going to, you know, I like, we like to try to involve them when we can, you know? You know, man. <laughs> We've got the great it's Hamlin fun. in L.A. here from St. Petersburg playing on the wharf. Oh, uh, thank you, St. Beach. And, uh, the wharf. The wharf. The you know? grill. That's when I do the 3D harmonica, That's which is your in-your-face harmonica. harmonica. Mm -hmm. It's a wireless. I go out and play to the audience, and uh, they seem to really love it. If you've never seen the 3D harmonica, you've got to see it. Wow. You know, that we sounds will, like state uh, we're going to make some there, more man. video of, uh, of us playing, and we're going to put it on our Facebook page. You can go to Facebook and check out where we're at and what we're doing. We communicate pretty much through Facebook a lot. We got a couple of other websites, Reverb Nation. We have a website there. We have a MySpace site, of course. Our Patterson's, you know, MySpace was cool, <laughs> but uh, and we play Facebook more than just is, the uh, more, the more up to date thing. So if you want to catch what we're doing, go on Facebook and look up Hamlin in LA at Facebook.com. Yeah. yeah, we also do simple. private parties too. If anybody's interested in that, absolutely. No, and that rings the bell about Facebook, man. You know, my Facebook name is David Beerly, B I E R L E Y. B is in Bud, Long Neck Bud, Beerly, B I E R L E Y. Now, again, I like more people to like my Facebook page All there, right, you know. Like it. You know, Hamlin LA was promo on that. You know, we, we I always do some uh, Rocksam.com logos going on there uh, just prior to the show on that. So, you know, all you fans out there, take a look at the uh, Facebook page. That's uh, David at Beerly, B-I-E-R-L-E-Y. That's David J. Rocks the J Radio Show with Hamlin in LA from St. Petersburg. Now, you got any dates that are coming up? Oh, that's right. You're staying at the – they got a steady gig, you know, over there at the uh, Wharf, man. That's amazing. That's how good they are, man. We got another one, Sunset Grill, that we play at the third Friday of every month. Mm -hmm. How do you like it over there, Sunset Grill? That sounds like that sounds exotic to me, man. <laughs> uh, we've, been, we've been playing there for the last oh, six years. Awesome. Huh? We've been playing there for the last six years. We love the place, man. It's Damn. got a great atmosphere and everything. And so, uh, Dave, do you know how many David Beerleys there are on Facebook? <laughs> oh my God! I know. I got, oh, that's my son. B I E R L E Y. Oh, L E Y. L E Y. Okay. Okay. Oh God. There, there's a, it'd probably be only two of them, and I'm the guy with the guitar in the hand. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Yeah, yeah there it is. I'm, is I'm the it? I'm the one on top. Who's that other one? Let me, let me see. I, I see somebody strange here on the on the. Right. Look at all these David Beerley. Damn man, I didn't know. Ten seconds. <laughs> Ten seconds, baby. This is this is Hamlin in L.A. from St. Petersburg. I'm David J. Rocks the J. Man, and we're yeah, about ready right. to rock yeah. it out. Rock it out. Thank you for listening to everybody out there. Go to our Facebook pages. Like our page, baby. We're looking for the max here, and we're going to the top. That's Rock Slam Radio, David J. Rocks the J. Radio Show. Like David J. Thank yeah. you, David. You know it, man. This is the rock one. Mama put my guns in the ground I can't shoot them anymore That long black cloud is coming